My name is Lucas Schooler. I'm with No Exit Performance, and the event we're putting on is the Hunger Games Capital Ball. It will be held on November 4th uh, from 6.30 to 8 at the Athenaeum right on Mass Ave. Uh, the reason our event is risky is because uh, it's, it's a completely new programming for our company and all the other, program, uh, all the other companies that we're working with. And anytime you create new programming, it, it, it's kind of risky just in itself. Um, but beyond that, we put on theatrical shows throughout the year. So we have a lot of control. We, re we retain a lot of that control. For this project, we're asking uh, young people to be involved, uh, high school aged people to be involved. We're asking uh, different charitable organizations to be involved, and then finally the community. So we're relinquishing a lot of the control and the final outcome of this event. Uh, beyond that, uh, the actual nature of the event. So uh, we're asking young people aged around high school, 14 to 17, to compete on behalf of these charitable organizations. And so some of these competitions are, are asking them to really reflect on themselves as citizens of Indianapolis, what it means to be a participant in, in a city like Indianapolis. So prior to the competition, they are asked to review a, a manual or a handbook that we're providing them that kind of lists um, issues of sustainability, wellness, and citizenship um, in Indianapolis. So we're really asking them to do some self-reflecting um, on themselves and then additionally on the community. Um, for the charitable organizations, it's risky for them because first of all, we're asking them to do something that's completely out of bounds from what they're uh, used to doing. And they're working with a theater company that <laughs> is known for being a little out there and a little extreme. So partnering with these charitable organizations has been a really unique experience for us because we're able to meet in the middle and have a discussion about the needs that they are, are seeing for themselves in the city and where they would like to see themselves go. And then beyond that, like we have the opportunity to, to uh, assist them with their needs and to let Indianapolis know that these organizations need this type of help um, so we're really excited about being able to provide that type of knowledge to our audience. People who are, have invested interests in our city. So we are featuring uh, seven different charitable organizations. Um, each of them have their own mission in, Indian in Indianapolis uh, and provide their own type of uh, programming. So we want to highlight these organizations uh, for our event and for them so that afterwards maybe they are recognized on a, on a completely different level. Um, it will be family friendly, there will be events for um, all ages, there will be a costume contest, we'll have photo booths, um, we have different vendors coming in offering foods, there will be a cash bar, and then beyond that we have the performance. So the, the competitors will be competing on stage in front of a live audience. Um, there will be uh, many performances from company members from No Exit Performance, Q Artistry, and Young Actors Theatre. And we have makeup designers, we have uh, costume designers, so it's a, it's, a, it's a show. We want people to come and watch us perform for them. But then also beyond that, it's beyond the actual performance, we want them to come away with a better understanding of where Indianapolis stands as a community. We want them to have a better understanding of these different organizations and the needs and desires that they have for Indianapolis.